This episode is brought to you by Cox Home Life. Cox helps make your home smarter. And now you can pull up your Home Life cameras on your TV with your Contour voice remote and some simple voice commands. To learn more, visit cox.com slash this is home. This is the Mistress Carrie Situation Report for October 22nd, 2021. Your daily entertainment headlines, industry info, and everything rock. In a recent interview, Dave Grohl, who is now a New York Times bestselling author, said, quote, that the dial is starting to turn back towards guitar music as a mainstream success. The comments were made in a recent interview in Rolling Stone magazine when he was asked about his band's status as the go-to rock band on the planet. He said, quote, it's been that way for a really long time, but I love being in a rock and roll band and we're not the only one. There's so many fucking great bands out there that hopefully will start getting more attention because I think the dial is starting to turn back towards guitar-based music, and to me, it's really exciting. Speaking of rock and roll authors, in a new interview, Tesla guitar player Frank Hannett was asked if he had given any thought to the idea of writing a book. He responded, quote, yes, I do have a concept for a book, but I've been working on it in my mind. And the tentative title of it is Modern Day Cowboy, because I do a lot of horse activities and I love to work with a lot of people in a different culture, the true authentic cowboy culture down in Texas. Nikki Six from Motley Crue also released a book recently. His book, The First 21, How I Became Nikki Six, was released this week. And in a recent interview, he talked about Motley Crue's upcoming stadium tour with Def Leppard, Poison, and Joan Jett. Focusing on the required fitness for a tour like that, he said, quote, when you play a two-hour show in a stadium, it's a 90-foot span from side to side. So when you're playing in a stadium, you've got all that room, and it's not like you're going from stage left to stage right one time. So you got to have your energy up. You got to be able to play and sing and move and jump, whatever you want to do. He also acknowledged that fans have to save a lot of money to be able to go to concerts and sometimes only get to see a band once in a blue moon. So for them, especially, he feels it's the utmost importance to be able to give the best performance possible. More than five months after the death of Tony Katane, the Orange County Coroner's Office has revealed the cause of death for the 59-year-old. According to an article in People, the actress and model died from dilated cardiomyopathy, which according to the Mayo Clinic describes as, quote, a disease of the heart muscle that usually starts in your heart's main pumping chamber. Rise Against have announced the Nowhere Sessions, a live EP, and shared the opening track, Talking to Ourselves. The six-song EP is going to be out on November 12th. The release serves as the live expansion of the band's 2021 album, Nowhere Generation. Ozzy Osbourne recently confirmed that he has 15 songs recorded for his upcoming new album, the follow-up to 2020's Ordinary Man. He's once again working with producer Andrew Watt, and the album will include guest appearances from Jeff Beck, Eric Clapton, Tony Iommi, and Zach Wilde. Zach Wilde recently commented that Jeff Beck sounds, quote, definitely sounds slamming on the upcoming album. And Ozzy's Black Sabbath bandmate, Geezer Butler, gave an interview on Gloria Butler's On the Rags podcast. Talking about his strict Irish Catholic parents, he said, quote, there were seven kids in the house. None of us were ever allowed to swear. And so when I was out of the house, I used to have the worst mouth in the street on me. He went on to say that one day he was using excessive foul language towards other people and someone complained to the police and they showed up at his house. Geezer Butler said, quote, my dad belted the hell out of me with his leather belt and that stopped me from swearing. Now, speaking of Black Sabbath, they've partnered with skate shoemaker DC Shoes on a line of footwear based on the 1971 album Master of Reality. The signature line of shoes goes on sale on October 31st at certain retail locations and online. Radiohead's discography is now available on Bandcamp. All nine of the band's studio albums, a live collection, a remix album, reissues, and more are now all available on Bandcamp. The music is available for streaming or purchase. New albums available today. The new album from Dream Theater, 6AM, and Duran Duran. And coming up tomorrow, Incubus is doing a live stream to commemorate the 20th 
20th anniversary of their album, Morning View. And that's your sit rep. For more details on all the stories, check the show notes of this podcast. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. New full-length episodes come out every Wednesday. Episode 72 featuring Brendan Yates from Turnstile is available now.